Oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here from Moss Pawn and Gun. And today we have another custom K31 for you uh, that we're going to be talking about a little bit. Um, the K31, as many of you guys know, is one of my favorite service rifles. And I know we talk about them quite a bit, uh, but there's a pretty good reason for that because they really are among the, the best military service rifles ever. Um, they have almost match grade like accuracy. The triggers are great. The actions are smooth on them. Uh, this one's been modified a pretty good bit. Um, we'll talk about it briefly here. The base action is uh, pretty much just your standard fair K31 carbine. We've got a uh, rock solid uh, K31 scope mount on here. All right, we got a Nikon Pro Staff. Uh, this little rig, if I'm not mistaken, it's a 10 power scope. We've got one of the St. Marie muzzle brakes. Uh, those are excellent uh, product. Uh, that company's called Swiss Products, uh, the St. Marie Swiss Products brake. Uh, he's known for making a lot of uh, random accessories for the K31. And the nice thing about St. Marie's accessories is that you don't really have to make permanent modifications to the firearm. So he's got a couple of bipod options, some muzzle brakes. Some of them require gunsmithing, some of them don't. He's got a clamp on mount etc. So there are some options out there from Swiss products if you're looking to, you know, kind of trick out your K31 without doing a whole lot of extra stuff. Um, one of the main things about this particular rifle that I like a lot is the stock that's on it. Um, this is from McGinnis Customs. This particular stock, uh, they're going to be CNC machining these completely from scratch. Now uh, where Mr. McGinnis got started with these is he was taking the actions of a standard uh, service rifle and cutting the existing stock and then splicing all of the parts into it to add like the thumb hole section and the adjustable cheek piece and everything like that. Um, the way this uh, particular stock's put together is pretty interesting because it's got this wedge that makes it a true pistol grip and not just a thumb hole stock. This wedge is held in and you take the screw out, pull the wedge out and you can get to the action screws to remove the uh, action for cleaning or maintenance or adjustment or anything like that. Uh, fully free floated barrel, very, very nice setup. As you can see, we're making very short work of those targets um, out at 215, 300 yards with this thing. Uh, typical, you know, smooth, straight pull, bolt action. The mount, of course, doing a good job. Nothing's really getting in the way there, you know, uh, slinging the empties out nice and uh, consistently. This gun feeds from a six round box, but there are a couple of options out there that are being uh, kind of researched on ways to get a higher cap mag for the K31. So you can probably expect to see those before too much time. Uh, the ammunition that we're going to be using today is just standard uh, Swiss surplus GP11 service ammo. Just regular old match grade service ammo. All of their service ammo is non-corrosive. It uses a uh, nickel plated steel projectile, which is kind of cool. It's, it's really odd. It's 174 grain. Um, boat tail, very, very odd projectile, but very accurate in most of your service rifles being in K31. So uh, we've already shot a couple of groups today. The gun is printing some really, really nice groups right under a minute. So you're getting about one inch accuracy out of this rig um, with GP11. With hand loads that could go either direction. These guns have been known to stabilize some pretty heavy projectiles. We're probably not going to be doing any grouping, but we are going to do a little bit of plinking just to show the practical accuracy of the firearm. So let's go ahead and get after it. We're going to do some shooting. It's just going to be a fun video here. One thing I didn't mention about the rig is that it's also got a uh, bipod mounted and there's this very unique scallop on the front of the stock right here, the end, that allows that bipod to sit in there nice and snug and kind of out of the way. We will do some field shooting just from the ground supported with the bipod here in a moment. All right, let's see if we can tag our little gopher there. He's been taunting me all morning. You know I can't do a K31 video without shooting that gopher. All right, let's see if we can shoot him here. He's about 250 yards away. Right over the top of his little head. Let's see if we can just make a minor adjustment here. Oh yeah. That might have been my fault there. Let's see. See if we can go for maybe a headshot there on his handler. He raises uh, gophers. 
So I shot his pet. Now we got to take him out. Let's see. Just over him, over the top. All right, I'm gonna bring it down. In the cranium. Nick. All right, all out. Well, cool. Okay guys, I'm gonna take a few shots of the McGinnis Custom K31 here. Just run some GP11 like Eric did on some various uh, shootsteel.com steel targets out to about 300 yards. Let's see what we can do here. Eric's gonna call my shots to make it a little bit more interesting. All right, how about that middle uh, half size D28 down there at 200? Oh man, that was easy. How about a headshot at 250 on a full size D28? Dude, you got it. You scalped him. Um, gopher. Go for the gopher. Go for the gopher. Let me see the bitty. <laughs> you got him. All right, how about that uh, six inch popper at 300? All right, I'll give it a little bit more hold here. Let's see yeah, that. That, that's a tiny target, man. Just over the top. Bring your hold down a little bit. Good. Uh, bring it back up just a smidgen. Good shooting. You got it. All right, how about our uh, eight inch uh, Colt Magnum Auto Popper there on the left? Good shot. Why don't you shoot a group? Good. Good. All right. You had a couple of your shots acted like they wanted to favor just slightly high on the uh, gong there, Chad. But uh, three of those shots landed into about two inches. Yeah, I'm trying to shoot it with somewhat rapid succession, you know. Yeah, that's not uh, bad. One shot left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another shot at Mr. Gopher down there. We've gotten a lot of. A lot of fun out of him, haven't we? Oh, we wore him out. Yep. Ooh, just right over, over the top of his head. Yep. He's laughing at you. All right, guys, Chad and I are going to shoot the McGinnis Custom uh, K31 here from the Prone Unsupported. Try to switch it up a little bit. This is going to be a lunch battle, which technically we know how that always goes because Chad's a good shot. But we're going to try. We got our 22-inch uh, uh, shootsteel.com round posted at 300 yards. Uh, GP11 service ammo. We'll see how, what we can do here. A little low, right? A little low to the right. Got gotcha. you. All right, well, five out of six ain't bad. But I got a feeling Chad's probably going to beat me, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Eric wasn't too bad. Five out of six. Not shabby. Looks like I got to get six out of six to win this lunch battle. Let's see what we can do here. Good shot, Chad. Right in the center. You might have favored just slightly on the right-hand side of the plate, but... Well centered.
Good shot, Chad. Well centered, but just slightly low. Your windage is great. Good, do that again, that's dead center. Good. Yep. Good. All righty, six for six, that's how we do it. All right guys, well we got a little sudden death match going on here. We're gonna try prone supported from 440 yards, just for fun. This is just to see if we can do it, you know, 22 inch round, GP11 service ammo. We're gonna go for speed, wrap them out, see what kind of group we can both shoot, see who can do it the fastest between Chad and I. You know, integrating a couple of little competition elements, certainly not a bad thing to keep your skills sharp. All right guys? Let's do it. You ready, Chad? Send it. Good. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Outstanding. All right, well, Chad's going to have a go. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be missing. This little rig's working real accurate for us, real consistent. You know, sometimes you just got to get down in the dirt, really see what these guns can do for you. All right, guys, well, there we got six out of six on that last go. Let's see if I can maybe wrap them out in a little bit faster succession here. Ready? Send it. Uh-oh. Well, guys, Eric and I both got six out of six on that last round there. I mean, this rifle is extremely consistent, this little McGinnis Custom here. Hope you guys enjoyed this little quick look, and um, stay tuned for more. We may be doing more work with this gun in the future. Take it easy.